Hello all. In microbiology, our next topic of discussion is culture methods and media. In this, today we will be discussing about culture methods. Microorganisms exist as mixed population in clinical material, or they exist as resident flora. So there is a need to cultivate them in pure form for several reasons. It can be uh, to demonstrate their properties so as to identify them for their clinical significance, to determine their antibiotic sensitivity, to study their physiological virulence, their genetic properties, to obtain sufficient growth for preparation of antigens and vaccines for epidemiological purposes, to archive them for research purposes. So there are several methods for culturing bacteria. First one is street culture. It is also called as surface plating. So here we use loops or straight wires of platinum or nichrome. These loops are sterilized by heating over a flame to red hot and cooling just prior to picking the material. And a loop full of specimen is transferred to surface of well dried plate. And the inoculum is distributed by streaking with the loop in a series of parallel lines. And here we can see well separated colonies in the final series of streaks. Next culture method is long culture or carpet culture. Here we can obtain a uniform surface growth of bacteria. We usually use this method for uh, testing antibiotic sensitivity and for bacteriophage typing. That is, uh, it may be employed whenever we need a large amount of growth that is for preparation of bacterial antigens and vaccines. Here, the, the surface is flooded by liquid culture. Next method is stab culture. Here, puncturing a suitable medium with long straight charged wire. That is, here we use long straight charged wire and using this we will puncture a suitable medium and the stab, stab culture is prepared. They are used for demonstration of oxygen requirements of bacteria. That is those bacteria which require oxygen will grow on the surface and those doesn't require oxygen will grow at bottom. They, they are useful for the maintenance of stock cultures. They can be also used for demonstrating other properties like gelatin liquefaction on appropriate medias. And the next culture method is pore plate culture media. So the pore plate culture media will give an estimate of the viable bacterial count. They are used in quantitative urine culture. Here the inocula, the inocula 1 ml of dilute inoculum is mixed with molten agar at 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. They are mixed well in petri dishes and allowed to set. After incubation, we can see colonies throughout the depth of media. Next culture method is liquid cultures. So liquid cultures in tubes, bottles, flask may be inoculated by touching with a charged loop, pipettes or syringe. Large inocular can be inoculated into liquid culture medias. And liquid culture medias are ideal for blood culture sterility test. And also they are preferable for inoculum containing antibiotics and inhibitory substances. And the yield can be enhanced by agitation, aeration, addition of nutrients, and removal of toxic metabolites. And the major disadvantage is it doesn't differentiate in mixed inocula. Next is anaerobic culture methods. So usually the anaerobic bacteria differ in their requirements of oxygen and also uh, differ in their sensitivity towards oxygen. The growth conditions may be different for strict anaerobes like Clostridium tetany and aerotolerant bacteria like Clostridium histolytic. So we have several anaerobic culture methods and first one, one is McIntosh and Fields anaerobic jar. So, McIntosh and Fields anaerobic jar is the most reliable and widely used method. Here we have a stout glass or metal jar with metal, metallic lid uh, which can be clamped airtight. And the lid has two, two tubes with taps 
one is gas inlet and other is outlet and the lid has two terminals connected to electric supply leading from the terminals suspended from stout wires we can see small grooved porcelain spool around which palladianized asbestos are wrapped we will place the inoculated plates inside the jar and the lid is clamped airtight the outlet tube is opened uh, and this outlet tube is connected to vacuum pump and all and all the air inside is evacuated once all air is evacuated the outlet tap is closed and the inlet tap is connected to hydrogen supply once the jar is filled with hydrogen palladianized asbestos is heated and this will catalyze the combination of hydrogen and oxygen and it will provide complete anaerobiosis though it provides complete anaerobiosis there is a risk of explosion so this risk of explosion is eliminated by modifying the catalyst so we use alumina pellets coated with palladium and it is kept dry in sachet within the jar and in order to verify the anaerobic condition inside the jar we use indicators and the commonly used indicator is reduced methylene blue and this reduced methylene blue will remain colorless anaerobically and it will turn blue on exposure to oxygen an oxomote an oxomote is an automated microprocessor control system for the cultivation of anaerobic microaerophilic and capnophilic bacteria next anaerobic culture method is gas pack it is the method of choice it is available as disposable envelope with chemicals generating hydrogen and carbon dioxide on adding water after inoculated plates after the inoculated plates are kept in jar the gas pack is mixed with water placed it is placed lid screwed tight so the hydrogen and carbon dioxide liberated in the presence of cold catalyst and they will help in the combination of hydrogen and oxygen and a complete anaerobic environment is created this method is very simple effective and they eliminate the need of creating vacuum next method is pre reduced anaerobic system pras this method is used for fastidious anaerobes another method is anaerobic chamber or glove box it is a air tight glass fronted cabinet with inert gas and also there will be an entry lock for adding and removing materials and globes for hand other methods of anaerobiosis are first one is robertson cooked meat medium it is a widely used method here we use fat free minced cooked meat in broth and they will permit growth of strict anaerobe strict anaerobe anaerobes and also they indicate saccharolytic and proteolytic activities by the meat turning into red or black if the bacteria is saccharolytic it will turn into red color and if it is proteolytic it will turn into black color next is thioglycolate broth it is a it is an enriched liquid media containing hemin and vitamin k they are used for culturing anaerobic and microaerophilic bacteria next method is anaerobic growth here it is an easily prepared anaerobic medium into which pieces of red red hot metallic iron are introduced and they are layered over layered over with sterile vaseline and the broth containing fresh animal tissues like rabbit kidney spleen testis heart if it contains heart it is called as smith noguchi medium and supports the growth of many anaerobes next are reducing agents here the oxygen is reduced in the medium with the use of various reducing agents like 1% glucose 0.1% thioglycolate 0.1% of ascorbic acid 0.05% cysteine that's all about culture methods thank you